What's going on, man? It's your boy, Perfect Harmony. Mix and master and engineer. I done work with 2C, Tia Karen, Lil Baby, Da Baby, Summer Walker, and the list goes on. But I'm not here to talk about me today. I'm talking about game staging and why it's so important for mixing and mastering engineers to learn about game staging and making sure they implement that in their mixing. I get a lot of people emailing me telling me, you know, I'm having trouble with my mixes. They want to send me mixes and then I listen to them. There's no depth, no space, and it just seems like it's the whole entire mix is muddy. And a lot of times that come from gain staging. You're not leaving yourself enough headroom. So when you make adjustments to the EQ or the mid range, you can actually hear it. You know what I mean? You only have a certain ceiling inside of a mix. You know what I mean? If you go over that ceiling, then as you make moves, you know, compression and EQ moves, you won't be able to hear it because it's pushing up against the ceiling. All right. For example, if I'm working on a master right and I got this beat that was sent in and you know I'm, I'm not gain staging i'm trying to use an eq let me go ahead and play the beat real quick okay so that's the beat so if i was the eq the top end on that listen to the top end and see can you really hear what's going on It's very, very hard to hear because the ceiling has already been reached in with this beat. You know what I mean? So to gain stage it, I would turn the beat down and give myself headroom where it's not reaching the max, where it's not clipping. So let's take it down to probably maybe uh, minus 10. So now I'm going to give myself headroom. So now when I make those EQ adjustments, I'll be able to hear it now because it's not fighting against the ceiling so now listen to me make those same adjustments um to the top end on this beat see now at that level i can definitely hear the eq adjustments before, without gain staging, not having any headroom, as I'm making those adjustments, it's hard to hear. You know what I mean? It's less audible when you're fighting against the ceiling. But when you gain stage and bring everything down when you have enough headroom to make those adjustments, you make better decisions as you're mixing. So when you first get a session and you play it, most of the time you'll notice it's already hitting at zero or above. So when I play this, they hated on me. I started minding my beat. Lonely school. So right now I already know this mix is at zero or above. You know what I mean? So what I want to do is to gain stage this mix, you can either do it two ways. You can use a trim plug-in or any type of plug-in with gain and gain it down. But what I like to do is I'll just grab every all the tracks like this. I'll highlight all the tracks like this. Zoom in and then clip gain everything down to about 10. See, if you see these numbers here, let me see if I can zoom in. I'll bring all the tracks down in Pro Tools by holding Control and Shift. I'm bringing everything down to probably like between 10 and 18. You know what I mean? So now when I play it. They hated on me. I started minding my beat. Lonely school gym. Looks like I got to bring it down even more. So let's bring it down some more. Bring it down to 16. They hated on me. I started minding my beat. Lonely school gym. So that way, when I start to EQ, I start to compress, I'm actually hearing what's going on. I'm not fighting against the ceiling. So when you open a session, you can either use a trim plug-in or clip gain down the audio from between i said earlier negative 10 but that was that wasn't even enough so between negative 10 and negative let's say 18 or we're not even gonna put a number on it let's just say until you get the ample amount of headroom where you can make accurate decisions so long as here 
I'm not hitting zero. They hated on me. I started minding my B. See right here? Long I'm giving myself five. 5 dB a headroom to work with. So when I make my EQ decisions, I'm actually hearing that. I know you watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of mixing engineers, like high level mix engineers talk about gain staging. And they talk about this for a reason because it's very, very, very important. It's not the only thing that can save your mix. You know what I'm saying? You definitely have to have acoustics in your room, treatment so you can, you know, hear what you're supposed to hear. You have to have good monitors or you have to have a good pair of headphones. You don't necessarily need monitors. I like monitors, but it's a lot of mixing engineers that use headphones, you know what I'm saying? So don't use not having a pair of monitors as an excuse. You still can be a good mixer with using your headphones, you know what I mean? You have to know your tools. You don't have to have every plug-in in the world. You can use the stock plugins in your DAW and still make a great mix. So don't let anybody tell you that you need a certain plug-in, not even me. I just like having, you know, uh, I like investing in plugins, you know what I mean? So when I get a session and that plugin is on there, then I can kind of start from where the producer ends. But you don't have to have every plugin that come out every week. Just learn how to use your standard plugins. Learn how to use your EQ. Learn what a bell is. Learn what, you know, uh, a cut is. Learn what high pass, low pass, um, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Learn a compressor in and out. Learn what the attack time is. Learn what the release time is. Really hear the differences when you're making those moves. Don't just say, you know, put it in your head. Oh, I'm making a move. I'm, I'm, I think I'm hearing something. No, actually hear when you make a move on a compressor or EQ or a limiter or anything like that. Make sure you actually a B in it, bypass it, listen to it. You know what I mean? So you really understanding the moves that you're making, because if you going in blind, just doing something because another engineer done it or something like that, then you're not really mixing. So yeah, I just want to thank everybody for watching, man. I appreciate all my subscribers. We at 300 right now, man. Hey, a lot of people think that ain't a lot, but for me, amazing. Let's keep going up, man. So more videos like this like and subscribe you can follow me on all platforms at perfect harmony and to the next time man i'm out i'm really trying to help all the beginning engineers you know take it to the next level and you know share some of the things that i've learned along my way so thank y'all man 300 subscribers let's go till next time i'm out <laughs>